Hey, hey, what's up, Chef Jesse here. How are you? How's everybody doing today on a Tuesday more, uh, Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday evening? Tuesday evening. Okay, anyway, folks, today I am making Cornish hens, okay? Uh, Cornish, I'm making Cornish hens. I'm going to put them in the air fryer, and then I'm going to take them out halfway done. I'm going to stuff them up with, uh, they're not that big, so I got to stuff, uh, but I'm going to stuff them up with some stuffing. I'm going to be making some potatoes that I make, some uh, garlic, onion, uh, onion roasted potatoes. And I'm making some mushrooms and I'm making some asparagus. So today's dinner should be halfway decent, healthy, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, folks, with that said, uh, I am going to a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so my hair's messed up, huh? Okay, folks. Anyway, folks, Chef Jesse here. I am going to be making some... Uh, I'm going to be making some garlic roasted potatoes. And I want to show you how I make them. And... Uh, let me see. Okay. This kitchen is so small, I lose things. Anyway, folks. Oh, there they go. I was looking for mine. Anyway, folks, I'm going to show you how I peel these potatoes. These pot I, peel, I peel potatoes. I love peeling these potatoes. Uh, I use this. Um, give me a second here because... Okay. I thought somebody was at the door. Anyway, I use this potato peeler, which I often mention. Uh, I, got this I got this from this old guy... And he used to sell them for two for five and one for three. And he used to go to the streets, a well-dressed guy in a suit, selling these things. Uh, supposedly Swiss made, the blades are very sh uh, sharp, they are never leave sharpening, but they won't cut your fingers. They won't, I mean, this thing is, is I mean, I'm gonna show you how I peel, how I peel potato. Okay, so folks, let me show you how I'm gonna be peeling these potatoes. These things, these, this thing is amazing. I'm just gonna show you how, I, how fast this thing peels potatoes. It, it's amazing, I mean, I've used other kinds of, of uh, palers, but they just don't do the trick. You know, I've even used good ones. I bought ones in a 99 cent store, and I bought in Bed Bath and Beyond, and they just don't do the job. They just don't do the job. And look at this. Look how fast I peel this potato. Imagine having these potatoes back in the in the military, where you could peel tons of potatoes when you had KP duty. Okay, so look how fast that was. Very quick, right? Okay, folks. So I'm gonna show you how I'm making my. I make a lot of noise when I cook. Anyway, folks, ooh, let me show you how I make my onion roasted potatoes, okay? So, folks, I use, to make my onion roasted potatoes, this is my recipe. Um, I use the Lipton onion soup uh, re re recipe onion soup mix, okay? So, so I use some olive oil. Okay, I'm going to put some olive oil in there. Okay. I'm just going to put some olive oil just to show you how I'm coating this. So let me show you. Okay. So I put some olive oil in here. Okay. And I'm just going to drizzle this. Make sure that it's all coated in this. Okay. There you go. Okay. Give me a second here. I am getting. I got a mess here. Oh my god. I tell you, working in a small kitchen is crazy. But I perform miracles. Okay, so now the potatoes are evenly coated with the olive oil. Very simple. I'm going to be taking one envelope of this onion soup mix. It comes like this. I'm going to open it up and I am going to put it in there. Very simple, look at that. Very simple. Okay. And I am going to, if you could, if you use a big, a deeper bowl for this, it'd be good. But I'm going to make sure that all my potatoes are coated, evenly coated with this, okay, with this mix. And then I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to put these in the oven for about maybe uh, an hour. Oh, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. And at three, I'm gonna cook them about 350 to 375. And I'm gonna show you now. Okay, there you go, look. So nice and coated, okay? Nice and coated, okay? Let's see. Okay, I love the taste of these onions. Hmm. So after it's nice and coated, I'm gonna, Put them in this glass cooker that I have here. 
There you go. And I'm going to put it in there. Very simple. I'm going to put this in the oven at 350, about 45 minutes. Okay. Make sure you get some of that in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to set my timer. I'll set my timer for an hour. 350. I'm going to cover these up. And that's it. Into the oven. How easy is that? Right? Very easy. So, folks, I'm going to be cooking my Cornish hens in the air fryer at about uh, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. And then I'm going to check up on them. I'm going to flip them around and cook for another 10 or 15 minutes or more or less. So, I got, I've got i got my uh, my beautiful Cornish hens here. They've been marinating since last night. And uh, let me... I just... I had them in a pot in the fridge. Uh, just make sure that you... Let me see. Just make sure that you bring them out of the fridge, uh, you know, a half hour or so, so they can get at room temperature before you put them in the um, in the uh, air fryer. And let me show you how they look because they look delicious. They really do. I can eat them like that. <laughs> so here we go. Okay. So there goes my Cornish hands. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna put them in the air in the basket here for the air fryer. Okay. I'm gonna, I like to start them off facing upward. That's just me, I don't know. And is that upward? I don't know. It, is that, okay, is this upward? Oh, here we go. That's the top. I don't know. It's just, you know, a bottom. Oh, what did I say bottom? I don't know. Anyway, there they go. Look how nice this looks. And uh, I'm gonna sprinkle some of this juice on there. This is the marinade that I made last night and for this marinade I just used a little bit of um, oil, salt, pepper, oregano, uh, garlic of course. There you go. I just want to get this juice in there. Okay. And uh, here you go. Okay. Just to get that flavor in there. There you go. Okay, so, here we go. So I'm gonna put these for, uh, like I said, 25 minutes in the air fryer at 350, and then I'm gonna check how they look. So let me go over to the air fryer. My air fryer's in the back here. That's my air fryer. I don't have a lot of counter space, so it's crazy in here. So, but this is my air fryer. Uh, it's the power, it's the power air fryer XL. It's the same thing that I have the power grill up on top of there. But anyway, folks, this is going into the air fryer okay in the air fryer at 350 25 minutes at 350 and it should be starting up soon there you go it's on so my air fryer is on 350 25 minutes and then I'm gonna check to see how they're done they might be done in 25 minutes because they're kind of small uh, but I'm gonna check up on them in 25 minutes and I'm gonna flip them around and cook them for about another 10 15 minutes my potato uh, my potatoes are my garlic uh, roasted onion potatoes are in the oven for about an hour and uh, now I'm gonna start working on my stuffing and I've got asparagus and I've got some mushrooms so stay tuned for all this food tonight so yeah, folks, today I am cheating. I am making some stovetop stuffing. I like stovetop stuffing, you know, for quick, very quick. Uh, so anyway, I'm boiling my water. It tells you to use a, uh, a cup and a half of water. I use a cup and a half of water, but I also put in uh, beef, uh, uh, chicken broth. So I'm cooking it, I'm, I'm not using just plain water. I'm using chicken broth with it, so it give it more flavor. So I, I got that in the pan with some margarine. I'm melting everything down. I'm bringing the water to a boil. Then I'm gonna put in my, if I find it where I put it, my, oh, it my stove top uh, stuffing. I'm gonna try to stuff the birds too. I like to put some in the bird uh, before they're done. So it smells really delicious. It's, uh, I got it at 350, uh, 18 more minutes and it's done. My potatoes are in the oven. Now I'm making my stuffing. I'm gonna start sauteing my uh, my asparagus and garlic, and my mushrooms. I'm gonna be using some garlic and some 
low sodium soy sauce and I'm going to saute it in there with the garlic and that's how I'm going to cook my uh, mushrooms and you're going to see how that's done in a few minutes okay folks so I'm making uh, I have my mushrooms I used a little bit of garlic and a little bit of low sodium soy sauce and then my asparagus I have garlic and a little bit of olive oil and um, I'm going to show you how that looks right now because dinner's almost served okay so there goes my mushrooms my mushrooms I'm just cooking them through softening them up a little bit and it has garlic and it has low sodium um, oh there goes my there goes my Cornish hens they're done yeah so low sodium soy sauce and garlic that's it over here is some olive oil and some garlic on that so yeah so it seems like my my Cornish hens are done my stuffing has been done for a while and I'm gonna take out my Cornish hens in a in a minute in a moment and I'm gonna let them cool off and I'm gonna show you how they look because they look pretty good they look nice so let me shut off my mushrooms my potatoes are in the oven and everything's almost done in about another five minutes hey folks so I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of how these Cornish hens look because they look they look they smell delicious uh, they've been cooking for what uh, 30 about 45 minutes uh, they you know I don't want to overcook them because they're small and I don't want to dry them out but they look and they smell delicious the whole house is smelling I stuffed some of the stuffing in there I couldn't get too much of the stuffing in there because it's just but let me show you how they look let me give you a preview hey you go look at that look at that they these things are done these things are definitely done look at that they're falling apart look at that you can just tell look at look, look how this thing just goes right through that look at that look at look at the meat look at that just falling apart let me take this little piece here and let me let me taste this delicious delicious the rice salt everything is cooked and uh, let me take these out and then start cutting them up put them at the table so folks I am going to get ready to cut my uh, I mean it cuts like butter this little bird and um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be serving this with all these other sides and stuff and stay tuned well folks dinner is served I'm gonna take this to the table because you know it always looks better at the table so a wind up of what we did today we did of uh, what did we do today my mind and we did Cornish hens we did air fried Cornish hens stuffed with stuffing uh, we did some uh, asparagus with olive oil and garlic we did some potatoes some on, uh, onion roasted potatoes that I made with some onion soup mix that I showed you how to do that in the beginning of the video you gotta watch the video folks and then we did some asparagus with olive oil and garlic a lot of garlic no salt used in in this stuff so hey, we're, we're heading in the right direction right a lot of I, I like to use a lot of seasoning pepper um, garlic I use some parsley, I use some oregano, I use some other stuff in lieu of salt. So that's the good thing about it, right? And uh, although the uh, my Cornish hens were marinated overnight with some oil and garlic and a little bit of salt, pepper and oregano and stuff like that, but that was marinated overnight. Then I put it in the air fryer for about almost an hour. I cooked them for 25 minutes on one side and I flip them over. I give them about another 10, 15 minutes on the other side. So this food looks great. It's going to get cold. So let me go to the table. So folks, I'm at the table. I want to show you because everything looks good at the table. So there we go. We go. Uh, we got my onion roasted potatoes. We got mushrooms in there made with uh, garlic and uh, low sodium soy sauce. Got some stuffing. I got some stuffing. You can tell the difference of stuffing in there. Uh, in the that was cooked inside the bird. And some asparagus with olive oil and garlic, and uh, there goes my little plate there. And uh, so let's get some pictures of it because it looks good and it smells good. And uh, so yeah, yeah, we gotta go like that. Folks, there you got it. I cooked all this in about an hour. Pretty good, right? Pretty quick. Uh, 
started around, yeah, I started, actually, I started at a, a little bit over now. I started at 6.15. It's seven, uh, I would say about an hour, hour and a half, more or less. Pretty big, pretty quick. The air fryer is terrific, folks. If you are thinking, debating on buying an air fryer, it is the best. I didn't believe in it in the beginning. I thought it was like, how the hell could this, but it really works. Uh, I won't say it works for everything because there's certain foods that, you know, you, according to whatever you cook, you know, might not work. But let me tell you, I put whole chickens in there. I put Cornish hens in there. I've put uh, numerous chicken wings in there. So it, it really works. And it's a good thing to have uh, when you don't want to fry stuff, you know, deep fry or anything like that. Air fry. Invest in it. They're getting, they're getting cheaper. So I got a big one. So, but they're getting cheaper. Tell me, believe me. Anyway, folks, with that said, I'm going to go eat because my food's going to get cold. Watch my videos. Please go to YouTube and watch my videos because people keep asking me and I appreciate people. I really appreciate people private messaging me. Oh, I did you do? Fine. But you got to watch the video on YouTube. Cooking with Uncle Jesse. It's there. Okay. I put all my videos an hour later after I eat and everything. I download them. So check them out. And if you really want me to go to your house to cook, because some people tell me, oh, can you come over to my house and cook? I will charge you a fee. You got to get me an Uber. And you got to get me a nice car. Get me to your house, an Uber coming back, and then throw me a couple bucks, and uh, I'll cook for you. Hey, why not? Hey, and if you're in Florida, North Carolina, then Uber's going to cost you a little bit more, but you got to get, you got to send for me or send me on a plane, and I'll go in and I'll cook for you. <laughs> anyway, folks, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.